as we are all aware, oil has been discovered in our land. Right now, a white oil company is applying to prospect the oil in our land. You already have that very good news. And uh, as you can see from all our faces, we're very excited. We're happy. I have a little concern here. In the past, our people have been exploited by those claiming to be prospecting for oil. If there's any way we can establish that this company is genuine and that they have a track record, I have no objections whatsoever to their coming in here. No. Yes, Your Highness, uh, I just want to tell you here that the very company we are talking about is very genuine. Uh, they have worked in South Africa, they have worked in Angola, and not that places like that. Your Majesty, your children are back. Oh, Some of the earliest intelligent politicians and lawmakers. That was why it wasn't possible for the kingship to be pegged to one family. After years of in depth investigations, three families were chosen. Ours is the youngest. After us, the Ikemba family of the Onowibano will take over. It will take us, or our family, about 100 years wow. to come back to the stroke. So how long are you going to live? It's hmm. a long time. Mm. I understand, Father. I don't know fever, but I like it because it's democratic. Okay. Yeah, and I pray someday I'm going to transform from a princess to a queen. <laughs> Anyhow, anywhere, something, daddy. Oh, well, you have to wait until I die so you can marry the next king. Maybe <laughs> after you would have hit menopause. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> that, 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 that is not fair. That is not fair. <laughs> Um, um, Dad, I, I and my sister would like to take a stroll around the kingdom. I mean, it's been long. Probably mm -hmm. see some old friends. Uh, that's all right. But be careful how you eat and drink. Okay. Mm -hmm. The UK kingdom is a kingdom with very few cents. Daddy, you started yeah. again. No, don't worry. We can take care of ourselves. Good. All right, then. Take care of yourself. Your Highness, see ya. Bye-bye. Right. God. Yes, Your Highness. God! Yes, Your Highness. Go with them.
out. I have warned you to stop calling me a native doctor. My father is just a chief priest of Ezuke. That doesn't make me a native doctor. Hmm. Okay, you're growing wiser every day. So tell me, what is the difference between a chief priest and a native doctor? Hmm. Their minds are apart, my brother. Hmm. You see, anybody can be a native doctor by choice. Mm -hmm. But a chief priest is chosen by the gods. Hmm. Yeah. Secondly, native doctors are in business. Why chief priest? Because in the service of the gods and their subjects. So you can see. Mm -hmm. Should I continue? <laughs> no, Akara, no. I doubt if your father, in all his wisdom, can give such an erudite answer. It shows that you must be the next choice of the gods after your father. <laughs> <laughs> it's not for we to decide. Not left for the gods. Secondly, my father has to ordain the next chief priest if chosen by the gods. Hey! Yes! I owe you a bottle for that lecture. No, oh, even without the lecture, I would have taken one by force. <laughs> hey, yes, now. Nah. What are you friends now? Nah. Friends for years. Oh, sit down, one man. Hey, let them. Hey, let them sit down. Hey, I'll quarrel the Tell me. Our prince and princess are back for your fall of his evening. Tell me something. Now, if you give me something, I tell you something. <laughs> <laughs> the next chief priest. Huh? Yeah, listen to you, listen to you, listen to you. Listen to you. <laughs> Hail, young, respectful, and resourceful takers. Wealth is power. We have made wealth. Enough money. But that is not what I'm talking about. We have made money that we can even build our own castle here on earth. But I am talking about power, great power, <laughs> and the only way we can steal from the heart of men is charity. Give and it shall be given unto you. <laughs> I tell you, by the time we do one or two projects, most of us will be smiling home <laughs> with a chieftaincy title. <laughs> because that is the only way our money and wealth proves its relevance and respect. Nobody, no person, will have the mouth to say any foul thing about the great clean wealth of the Pekas. Great Pekas, wealth is power. Power from the most protected. Queen Amagdon the Great. The great. <laughs> One more thing. I expect you to start the project where it's going to benefit the people of AZ UK and leave the rest for me. Great Pekas. Well, <laughs> take it. Atata. Uderebola. Atata. Uderebola. <laughs> oh, very good. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, very good. It's the demands of a full fledged of our festival are not new to us. 
Chief Ibano Igemba. Right. You are the Onowu and the oldest chief of our kingdom. You are in the best position to handle the planning. Let me know my responsibilities in our next meeting. Your okay. so, Highness, the committee is set up to consider some of our illustrious sons and daughters for Chieftain Sitato has concluded their task. Good. Let me have the names of the shortlisted candidates before our next meeting. Your Highness. Yes. I have a strange hunch about this chieftain's issue. If we go ahead with this, <clears throat> what it is now, we shall be making chiefs out of lesser mortals who will in due course not only challenge this throne but uh, question our traditional values except we are undisturbed. I don't think so, Chief Zeloku Octari. That is the meanest thing to talk about people who have worked so hard for the development of this kingdom. Shut up. This is my such shut up. I don't know where you borrowed the courage which to confront me. When I talk, I expect people with some background to join issues with me, not peasants like you. I am Otari Zelu Ikemba, the king of the forest. If you would ever make the mistake of challenging me again, I'll be very sorry. Sit down, uh, the Chief Otari. Chief Otari, I said sit down. I'm sorry, Your Highness. Otari, that is not right. We are too mature and wise to throw tantrums like market women. I'm sorry, Your Highness. This meeting is over. We'll meet in a fortnight. <laughs> Riches much more than any other person in this kingdom. But one thing is certain humility is the easiest way to the people's heart. It's an advice to you, please. And put your room in order, eh? Don't, 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 don't you know that you, you are supposed to be my servant? Don't the fire that to hurt the stupid, stupid boy. Don't, 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 don't try me. Or oh, 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 if I will kill you, I will suck your blood. Eh? Don't me say I will suck all the brain in your, in that you have to hell. It don't. No wonder. I wish. You come in, eh? Wish, wish. Get down, wish, wish. You are, 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 you are
Show that for education alone. See, your elder brother here, Rosita and the wife, can be very supportive. All their business process over the years were used to support me for education. You see, their big uncle, Otare, does not care, even though he has enough for all of us. So that's why I'm saying, please, do not forget them. Show respect for them. What Young blood of the Kimba family. Sir. I'm proud of you. Thank you very much. Please sit down. Why, Mama? Sir? What about the newborn? It's fine, sir. I will still come back officially to welcome him into the Kimba family. Thank you. So please don't be angry with me. Hmm? Thank you so much, okay. sir. <laughs> Good mother, Norma. Otari. Kedu. How did Norma? How is your family? Well, we are trying. What shall we do? Yes, uh, let me get you a call out. Hey, hey, that's what I'm doing. Let us offer you something. Hmm? You're all right. Yeah. Um, um, Otari, um, coming here now is very timely. Because I was about uh, sending a journal to you. Come and intimate you on his plans mm -hmm. because uh, he's traveling to Mend to struggle after his after serving his nation. Which end, sir? Wasn't it last year I was told you graduated? Yes, sir. Hmm. How time flies. Going into a very solid man. Thank you, Good. sir. Congratulations. Sir. Thank you very much. I'm much. proud of you. Um, you made up your mind to go to Mendo. Hmm? Mm. Yes, sir. Um, all right. If you get to the place, prove to them that you are a true blue-blooded prince of Ezekiel from the Ikemba family. Prince? Yes. Uncle Otari, you cannot stop blowing our ego. <laughs> I am not kidding. We enjoy royal blood in our family. As a matter of fact, when the present king passes on, that's King Achalano, it becomes the turn of our own family to produce the next king. Why are you moping? Didn't you tell them no, this? No, I am not sorry. It's, it, I didn't do that because uh, for now I, I don't think that anything will happen to that king soon. I am not praying for anything to happen to King Achalon. No. But for God's sake, the children ought to know their history. That is what I am talking I, about. I we are from a royal family. We are blue blooded. We enjoy respect. We have integrity, we have the love of the people, yes. and what is more, that throne will belong to us after the death of the natural, and nobody can change it. Sir? There is enough in the Ikemba kingdom to accommodate your job ambition. Whatever it is you want to be, we can provide it for you. But, well, since you have decided to go to Mendo, um, Come. 
shall go to Mendu, you will see, you will conquer, you will be very successful, and you'll come back home. Amen. 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 I have given all I have for wealth, and this useless too, are all that I have left after all the money. Look at my brother, Ibano. He's poor, but he has a very happy and progressive family and will successfully become the next king if Achilano kicks the bucket. And I will end up being a follower. And small boys will be given chieftaincy titles and they will start rubbing shoulders with the great Otari and gradually I will be relegated to the background and forgotten completely. It's about time I made a dash for the throne. I've been able to get the important chiefs into the maggot cult, and that is a plus for me. I suppose you're the wise one. The son of a wise man cannot go astray. You are wise, my prince. I hope all is well, because I see no reason why you would block I and my sister when the royal gate is always open to you. Greetings, my prince. Greetings. I am like a wind, and my destinations are determined by the forces beyond my control. <clears throat> the wise one, is there any good news from you for the palace? Yeah, it's well, my daughter. My main message is that you tread with caution. 
though the weapons of the enemies are not pointing at you or your brother. Your father must be very careful, though I am not sure, but the, the signs are there. I shall be at the palace when necessary. Um, thank you, wise one. Um, we will not hesitate to warn my father. If there's anything for the girls from the prince, let no force of darkness stop it. <laughs> Welcome to Nigeria. <laughs> <laughs> I send my greetings to the gods. It shall be well with you. Thank you. Margarita. Great Margarita. Great Margarita. Margarita Incubus Succubus. Great Margarita. Giver of wealth, influence, and power. Our members here present are aware of the pact that I, Otari, made with the king of the maggots. Today I bring you special sacrifice for a special favor. Please accept the sacrifice of this virgin Please continue my deserving service. This sacrifice gladdens my heart. Speak your mind. Great Margarita, you have given me wealth, you have given me great influence, but I desire power. It is my ambition to run the affairs of AZ UK. I desire to be the king of AZ UK. I do not want anybody to interfere with this ambition. So I require, Great Margarita, that you invigorate me here, and power me so that I can contain all opposition. Margot Otari, Zeloku Ikemba, much you have given and much you shall receive. First, you sacrifice your mother and your wife. Secondly, you gave your two children. Then, you offered me your manhood. And today, you have given me a sweet-smelling sacrifice of a virgin girl. Receive more fortification. <laughs> Hey, 
Margarita. Hail the great one. Hail the great one. Hail the great one. Accept your sacrifice, great one. Accept your sacrifice, great one. Accept your sacrifice, great one. Eterebus principe, honorificati dunitatibus in cedo, margarita incubus succubus. visible enemies in your life presently? Why ask? Oh, come on, Dad. The answer is more important to us now than the way. Oh, come on. Where have you been and who have you been talking with? That someone spoke to us earlier today. And the person in question is no ordinary man. And if I may quote him that, he said, though the weapons of the enemies are not pointed against you, but your father must be very careful. And he went on and said that he's not yet sure, but the signs are there. Those were the exact words of the chief priest of Ezui Keshwan. He promised to be here as soon as a message is clear to him. Oh. The chief priest does not make careless statements. He must tell me the signs. I ask again, Father, are there known enemies in your life? We all have enemies. We all do, but it's when the enemies become dangerous that it gets out of control. Guards! Guards! Your Highness! I want to see the chief priest immediately. Go now. Yes, Highness. <laughs> the wisest king is has ever produced. The most incorruptible genius of our time. <laughs> Truth, you wear as clothes. Wisdom, you drink as sweet wine from the gods. Justice, you carry about in your bag and dispense it anytime you want to. Is it well? Is you get kingdom 
You can never be at war with the gods. <laughs> they smile at your ends. Truth and justice pervades all your pronouncement. I salute you. But my son, the prince. In invisible forces are ravaging the forest. And rivers in search of some seed of destruction. The picture come and go. But all are pointing at you as the target. Wise one, I am lost. When we talk about power in Ezuke, we talk about the throne. Let us pray that what they are angling for is not your throne. But if it is, your life will be in danger. But do not fear. Your Majesty, when I am through with my findings, I shall come back. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. Thank everything word for word but it was just a suspicion he's not yet sure father don't wait for us to be sure the warning is enough but do i have any option other than to face my challenges and deal with them squarely what you are facing father is a fetish challenge not a physical battle i will not allow you risk your life as soon as this offer is over, we are all leaving this country. No captain abandons his ship in the middle of our voyage. I am the king. No father, no father. But you say Udara I cannot inherit your throne. They won't risk your life for the throne. Look, Dad. We've lost the mom already. And since then it has never been the same. Please, father, I and Odera, we're still young to become orphans. Please. The tradition of our people must be preserved by no other than me. Enough of this tradition and whatever. Father, you can, we can live in the UK and you still enjoy all these royalties. Father, I am not ready to buy you a casket. Yes, It's not yet bad. I am watching them. I will do what is best for us if it gets hot and uncomfortable. Trust me, okay? Trust me, my princess. It's all right. Where are the other chiefs? Your Highness, uh, we have not seen them. Sit down. Your Highness, the shocking thing is that all their phones are switched off. Even a word from your brother, Chief Otari. Honestly, Your Highness, I am surprised. This is a meeting we all fixed. We're supposed to discuss my next of honor. I recommend some of our illustrious sons for a chief yes, yes, all right. <laughs> There's virtually nothing the three of us can do now. So I adjourn this meeting to a later date. And please, 
Let me know what caused this uh, sudden absence. Your Highness, we we'll surely send you words as soon as we find out. Let's call her in the palace. Yes, sir. I'm ready. How? Help me thank my brother Osita. Because without him, I would not be where I am today. <laughs> <laughs> you will not stop flattering me. Uh, Uchina, you're my responsibility. Uh, it is true that my business suffered because of your schooling. But I am proud that you are a graduate today. Thank you. Very proud. Thank you, brother. <laughs> thank you very much. Ah, Mama, mm -hmm. I'll miss you very much. Which and everybody is happy with yes, you. Yes, ma. As you are going, God will go with you. Amen. And go and get a good job in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And it is well with you. Amen. Amen. Ah, Papa, you're back. Yes. You're welcome. Saying, God has a word of doing things. Mm. Oh, really? You see? That's why you're welcome. This meeting didn't hold today. Oh, mm. it's a good opportunity to come out for me to come and see my son yes. and give him blessing. Mm. Mm. So, Uchenda. God Almighty will bless you. Amen. He will give you a very good job. Amen. He will bless you coming in and going out. Amen. Amen. Most importantly, oh. most importantly, He will give you the wisdom to remember those that sacrificed the Lord for you. Amen. 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 Thank you very much, Papa. Exactly. I'm so exactly. grateful. Yes. I have to be on my way now. Exactly. Uh, all right. Let me walk in some distance. Yes. Take care. Thank you very bye much. Bye bye. Papa, thank you. He's all right. He's all right. <laughs> Who is the green snake in the green grass? Hmm. I can perceive the evil other. What else can they be looking in a lonely underground aside power? Aquara, my son. Papa. You are the next chief priest of Ezuke Shrine after me. Therefore, you need to be fortified. Oh, Papa! Fortified, my son. Be fortified. Fear not, for no evil shall befall you. Here is the necklace of knowledge and wisdom. Go, go, for nothing shall harm you.
Oh, Zoma. I don't understand that question. I mean, he's a source of what? When I try to see how he came into affluence, I see a wide gap that needs that to be explained. It has no explanation. You see, everybody knows that my younger brother Tari is an ambitious person, including you. So, as for his source of wealth, I do not care because he never helped me for it, with it even for one day. Why should I bother myself? Exactly what I expected to say. Hmm. Because his absence in the meeting today with other chiefs who are obviously his supporters cause for this suspicion. You have to put your ears on the ground. Because he's not the madman that is ashamed, he's his kinsman. As an elder, I expect you to act wisely. He needs to be investigated. Why should I investigate him? Why? I don't have the right to do that. He's so blackotable. Table Gabakasi. Otari is no more a child. We should leave him to whatever he wants to do. So, let's go. Leave him. Okay. Grandmaster, I have tested wealth in abundance, but there is one thing I have not tested, and that one thing is power. I want power. I slice through your heart like a sharp razor. That which you seek cannot be possible. I couldn't tell you that before other maggots. Please, educate me, Grandmaster. There are two obstacles before the major obstacle. And the obstacle is like a palm fruit with a lot of fruits. You must overcome the first like a bunch of palm fruit before the ultimate. Please reveal this to your servant, Grand Master. Now watch. Handle these two families before your dream can come true. For the Lord of Darkness, the God of Maggots, requires a special sacrifice. What nature of special sacrifice do they demand? It shall be revealed to you in your dreams. Thank you. Grandmaster. I go to Rumba to Robocro. Hm, I go not to Rumba, one I call a yes. Oh, yes, no, pray, I'll put it again. Make it a Hm, this must not happen. This evil must be stopped. When night will be new. When I am renewed, when I am renewed, chap, when I go bigger, you go bigger, millionaire, you are a frogwe, nobody can can him. Milliardaire, you are a frogwe. You don't, ha, I got for, can I name a camera? Who is that that is speaking when the gods has not spoken? Okay, we shall see.
This is the grand sacrifice for the master of darkness and the king of the world. May it be acceptable to him and let my request be granted. Hail the great one! 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 Man, 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 man! You are blessed, great servant. Accept your sacrifice, great one. Accept your sacrifice, great one. Lucita, my brother, with this three hundred thousand naira injected into your business, you will know nothing but failure, failure, and more failure. And with these cowards tuned all over your compound, you will all be confused. You will be disappearing one by one until finally I shall ascend the throne of Ezuki. Somebody did this to you. God will punish that person. Amen. That person will never know anything good in his life. Amen. And I believe it will be all right. Hmm? Just take heart, you know. What? Mm -hmm. it? How is business? Uncle, business is bad. Come. Come. This is 300,000 Naira. Hmm? Wait on your business. Yeah, certainly must be an improvement. Hmm? Uncle, thank you very much. God bless you. That's all right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, Ivano, I must be going now. Norma, take heart. You'll be all right, huh? All right. Uncle, thank you. Baby, it's 300,000 
I'm a woman who lives modestly in the midst of scarcity. I have never thought downfall of anybody. I've never. Neither have I taken what is not right in my mind. My God. See what they have done to me. You provide us wealth so we do not lack. In times of want, you give us plenty. You direct us whenever we require guidance. You come between us and our enemies. Show me anyone who wants me destroyed. Show me anyone who wants me destroyed. If this blindness is from the boss, let it be my body, for they are wise. But if it is man made, the whole of them will never go unpunished. They will all suffer it one after the other. They will all die shamefully because I did not do them anything. They will never know peace. They will never know joy in their lives. Be a man, be a woman that put me into this condition. The whole of them will never go unpunished. They will all suffer it one after the other. Yes, we think of what will happen to each and every one of them. They will die shamefully all of my enemies. See what they have done to me. I say, as I'm saying it, so shall it be. Oh. So shall it be. Oh. The whole animal, the savaging animal, they will all reject, even vultures, they will all reject their corpse. They will die shamefully. Let me pick up my heart. Yes, I do. Ah. Ah, <laughs> it's, it's, it's okay. Let me, let me voice out my heart. Listen, listen, listen. You shall be well with you. Hmm? I will take care of you, despite this situation. It's a promise. Go to China for me. Go to China, sir. Just let us go. me, the mouth that curses me will reject food, the mouth that curses me shall kiss death. Otari, my brother, surprised me yesterday. It is unbelievable that someone that refused to drop a cover for my schooling hmm. and that of my younger brother Ojenna could suddenly muster 300,000 naira, Papa. It's unbelievable. Hmm. Honestly, honestly, I am not comfortable with such 
your usual party. I am not. Um, I am not comfortable to talk about it. But the truth is that we need Kamara. Mama needs some treatment and my business needs to cover. Uh, okay. We shouldn't let each other know what's happening. It's going to be a good distraction and uh, there is nothing else. Let, let us keep it away from him for now. Besides, there is not little or nothing he will do for us. So, what is the state of letting him know? You're right. Hi, 300 pounds. I'm surprised you are still here with Osita. Instead of you going to the neighboring village, asking questions. You are very much right. Uh, you are very much right. But um, I, I want to send for a herbalist that will treat your eye problem first before any other thing. Uh, that could have been a good excuse. But I'm worried and concerned about my missing grandson. Get me my missing grandson. I think Mama is right. Eh? Let's go and look for him. We should look for him. Hey. Okay, uh, let me send word to the herbalist that will commence treatment on your eyes. Then we'll go to the neighboring village and ask questions. Um, uh, sister, you're very much right. You know that we have a king, uh, we have a meeting with the king by tomorrow, and I need to go and see Otari for some discussions. As soon as I finish with my combat, we we'll go to him. Imminent bloodbath, but the direction is unknown. Hmm. Should your servant not be in the know? Should your servant not be in the know, the gods of our land? Who are you? Are you a spirit or a human being? Show up! I dare you, faceless intruder! Show your face if you are not a coward! And receive this thing of the gods. The fate of Ezekiel land has been placed in my hands and that of my servants. You are one of the obstacles that must be dealt with. I say this so that I don't chase the angry oracles away. <sighs> <laughs>
who could tell you who your enemies are and the right time they will strike is no more then what are you doing in this place? If I may suggest to you, Father forget about this offer and let's leave this palace I can't run away from my own kingdom But you will run away from your kingdom because if you don't, I shall leave this place with my sister as soon as possible I mean, what is all this? See, Father, this is the reason why I hate coming home What's all this juju and traditional nonsense? Father, you have to leave this palace. This is the last time I will plead with you on this matter. Somebody help! 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 Somebody
Woman, who are you? My name is Asika, the wife of Jamike, the one that lives down the river Rhine. Igwe. Okay, I know Jamike. So how are you and your children and how is Jamike? We are fine, Igwe. Jamike, my husband, is doing well. I hope you is well. This one that you're here today. Uh, Igwe. Great abomination was committed today in your kingdom. I don't know how to say it, Igwe. Well, what is it? What happened? Eh. Uh, Speak to me, woman! Chief Ibano raped a girl today. Igwe. Yes. Do you know the consequences of this accusation? Igwe, I do. Chief Ibano is the eldest chief of our kingdom. He will know for that matter. And he knows the consequences of rape. So are you sure of what you are saying? Igwe, I am quite sure. I saw him with my own eyes. In fact, I was the one that carried him out from the girl. Igwe. who commits it is stripped and flogged in public. He is stoned outside the kingdom and his properties including his land is given over to his brother and known for his nuclear family. I know. Woman, are you very sure of what you are saying? Yes, Igwe. I am quite sure. Can you say this in the presence of the council of my chiefs? Are we, Igwe? Guards! Yes, my Go and summon my chiefs. Right away. seriously been thinking since the rape report of Onoe Banner came I don't know I've been thinking I've tried to link it up with the mysterious death of Udoji and the state of his only surviving son Akwara but if you'll ask me I think there is a serious conspiracy somewhere against our family and the throne I feel the same way my son. Dad, I urge you to be very, very careful. The two victims are your closest friends. They were your most trusted allies. 
I don't want you to be hasty in passing your judgment on a Noe banner. If I were you, I'll play some politics. Take your time until the coast is clear. I will do as you have said, my son. Yes, and thank you for your wise impute. Thank you, Father. How I wish you will take over from me after my reign. <laughs> Father, it's left for the gods to decide. I shall take my leave now. Your Highness, there is problem in your kingdom. Chifi Banu has just committed suicide. What? Are you sure of what you just said? Yes, Your Highness. done to the family you brought shame to the family what is wrong with you look at you you have messed up the reputation of this family you all right how are we going to live down the stigma i'm asking you don't just fly there cold nonsense he knew the gravity of his offense and he took the easiest exit how can i ever forgive him for doing this how i mean this this you know what it means to our family listen to me your highness just look at you. Look at you lying down there. Senseless. Look at you. Chibotari, uh, don't speak ill of the dead. I'm not speaking ill of the dead, Your Highness. But he has brought shit. But how can we live down the stigma? How? Just tell me how. Look at Ibanu committing rape at his age. In Ibo land, you know what it means for somebody to hang himself? How can any member of our family, a royal family, come out in public and talk? How? You are telling me? His corpse should be disposed in the evil forest. He must not be buried in any home in his UK. His lands are hereby handed over to his only brother, Otari. But that is our tradition.
Bye-bye. Fear not, my son. To the proud, wisdom is hidden. To the wicked, destruction dwells. The damage on you is might. Thank the gods that you are fortified before then. You are protected from further damages. I shall guide your step. This meeting must remain secret until the battle is won and over. That are indigents of Ezuke are planning to storm this kingdom with Jumbo Charity Wars and take over the running of the kingdom. Seven out of the ten considered for chiefs and titles are members of this group. But I have not seen any threat. I'm coming, my brother. The threat is that this group consists of mostly young people that are members of a court. I mean, a court that could rival the maggots. We must not allow any rival court. That is why Chief Otari is fighting this battle. Mm. It might be true. Yes. But we must not overlook the aspect of greed for power no, 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 and selfishness. No, no, no. You are the madman. I heard you were. Well. you were. You are the king of mad people. Ndo we go ndi we are of ritual people. Akwara! Uh-huh. Are you insulting high chiefs like us? Sorry, I didn't know that I'm so... How can I insult my high chiefs? Ndooshi, 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 You people are thief. Do you draw that clan now you go blind? Yes! See, what you people did was to kill my plan, but you didn't kill my vision. 
You know him? Okay, you were expecting me as I was passing. I will say, Great afternoon, my high tears. I I don't just waste that here, if for that, and you can carry me for your waist up and down. I know you are at home. Go, see, go and tell your groups that they are doomed forever. Come and challenge your friend. Don't worry, that's all right. Thank you. Here I go. No, 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 no. Come down. Come and challenge your friend. Have you seen you said you have power. Come and challenge your friend. Come and come with it. Are you? No, 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 no. Hold it here. Come. Come and challenge your friend. Come. Come. Come and challenge your friend. Great wood peckers. Wealth is power. Great wood peckers. Queen Amadilon the Great. Great wood peckers. Wealth is power. Great wood peckers. Queen Amadilon the Great. My queen, some of us and many others who are not here plans to go home and take control. We are here to renew our power and increase our wealth. Your wealth shall increase and will never cease. Atata Ubaka, you were supposed to give us your only brother as a sacrifice for the great riches the Armageddon has given you. I am ready, my queen. Come and kiss from the body of wealth and power. Great disciple of the Magos. My loyal Magot. Welcome. Thank you, sir. Um, I think it's time you became part of what we're doing. Because before too long, we Magots will take over the entire kingdom. And uh, we'll do that for as long as we want. Speak, because I'm willing to be of service. Good. I know that you come from a line of priests. Yes, sir. And that you're the younger brother to the late chief priest, Udodge. Hmm? Right, one, you're right. Good. Ordinarily, he should be succeeded by his son, but uh, he is in no fit mood to do that. Now I tell you why I called you here. I want you to take over from your brother as chief priest. Okay, sir. And you will be working for me. Hmm? I'll do that, sir. Good. why I haven't gotten a job when my colleagues that don't even have my kind of qualification are all employed. Ojin, now, I didn't tell you because it all came in the street. Just as we were struggling to settle down in Mendo, 
it would have been a major distraction. Do I still have the job after all? Do I have it? I feel like a useless human being. Stop that. You oh, sold so everything you had to train me in the university. Yet, what do I have to show for it? It's all right. I can't even help when there is crisis. Shut up, Utena. Shut up. You are not useless, okay? I don't know why all these things are happening, but you are not useless, okay? It's all right. He knows best, okay? It's all right. I have brought the items. What of the Kolanok? Is it complete? Yes, they are complete. Oh. Hey! I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. Hey! I'm going Please. Forgive them. I'm going to go to the house. Hmm? himself as a source of amusement for my guests. Come on, bring him! Over another man's problem. I brought you here to prove to you that I'm more powerful than you are. Stop interfering with me. If I catch you again, I will not release you this easily. Have you heard me?
Good day. Alfred Ositai Kimba, the pride of the Kimba family. The one shoulder that carries the entire family. Is this your last? Is this the once proud lion that can no longer cater for his family? The enemies have really succeeded. What a wicked world of inexplicable mysteries and imbalances. Oh, Sita, I came back. <clears throat> My good friend Osita Ikemba. Awkward. <laughs> hmm. There's no need asking you how your family is after what you have passed through in less than three months. That's what I did do. Hmm. Osita, they hit you just as they hit me. One man is behind all this. His target is to take over Ezekiel for kingdom. Usita, I beat you. This is from the ghost, not me. Aquara, you're supposed to be out of your senses. So does the enemy think, but the ghost think otherwise. Usita, I beat you. I am planning to go and ask questions. I cannot rely on your insinuations. <laughs> oh, Sita, you have planned this even before the death of your father. You will keep on planning until your whole family is wiped off. Oh, Sita, your enemy is with you. How do you mean? <laughs> I will say no more. Booster, you smell of death. The gods are dead. <laughs> Booster, your family requires cleansing. I shall come for the cleansing. Remind me, you know it's one of my bad habits. I mean, again, when you get put here and I'm forever cheerful. Just remind me. I will come one day. I was even going for this thing before. I will see you. What are you doing with what oil? What kind of problem is this one? I am tired. 
temptation is too much. Temptation is too much for one person. The problem is this one now. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, Jimbo. Well, we have to take her to the hospital. Eh? Yes. Oh, God. I'll call Bedon Sita. We just have to take her. We can't, we can't keep her here like this. Let's go. Let's go. Mama, Mama, it's, it's okay. Bring one of your legs down. You go away. Oh, Jimbo! It's okay, Mama. Sorry, sorry. Where is Uchin now? He's still with the doctor trying to beg him. Um, let, let, let me see them. It's only Uncle Otai for now. But I don't want us to go and ask him for any financial help. His wealth has never been useful to anyone that I know. That is not our problem. Uncle Otai is the only relation that we have for now that can help us. Look, brother. At a time like this, you can even run to your arch enemy and ask for help. Don't you understand what is going on here? Mama must not die. Our mother needs help urgently. The hospital insists that we should pay an initial 30,000 Naira deposit before they can commence treatment. Uncle, please. Osita Ikemba. Sir. A disgraceful failure. You are an unrepentant buffoon. Six months ago, I gave you a whopping 300,000 naira. Today, you're back asking for a paltry 30,000 naira. What did you do with the money? What? Uncle, oh, please, I beg you. This is not the time to apportion you. Shut up. Shut up! I spent all the money I had on me, training you in the university. Six months after graduation, you're still loafing around men, going after women, smoking cigarettes and drinking without a job. 
and you're coming to sit down here and tell me, Uncle, is it not the time? I don't want to hear from you again. I'm going to take exceptions to that. I said, shut up! But Uncle, please, please, don't be angry. Just, just help us. Please. Listen to me, you two. I'm going upstairs to pick up my car keys because I'm going for a meeting. When I come down here, I don't want to see because of you. Is that clear? Guards! See them off. On, on. What is going on, Chief Otari? First, you forced it down on this council to accept Alaka, the younger brother to the late chief priest Dodgy, as the new chief priest when Aquara is still alive. Your Highness, the madman cannot be my chief priest. Yes, it is not possible, Your Highness. Yes. Your Highness, what we are saying is that the late Ulu who selected the committee that picked the so-called illustrious sons for the conferment of chieftaincy titles. We are saying that they are strangers and we cannot permit strangers to cut away our titles that are so precious. No, that's what we are saying. Your Highness. Igwe, we demand for a new committee to select fresh people. You have not told us why these people are unqualified. They are popular sons of Ezekiel. Uzo must sit down. Sit down and listen. We paid our dues. That's why we are all here as high chiefs, because we paid our dues. These people you are talking about are not just strangers. But you see, conferring chief Tensi titles to little gods who will tomorrow challenge this throne. And the entire SUK is what we shall not take. That is what we are saying. But these people are not part of the governing council. The titles are simple recognition. It is not true, my king. Any titled man has a say in the running of SUK. Yes, give a greedy and ambitious man a yard and he will take a mile. Igwe, be careful. Um, I support the setting up of a new committee so we know who we are dealing with. I am confused at this sudden twist. This list has been there all this while. What are you not telling me? If I don't have a superior reason, I will have to veto you. Atolano, don't try it. Otari, did you just call me by my name? Should I have called by a dog's name? Atolano, I said, don't try it. If you want to sit out your reign, as the king of Ezuke. Don't try it. That is a threat. Yes, it is as a threat. A threat to help you protect yourself and that throne you are sitting on. Unfortunately, you won't understand. You are talking to the fearless panther of Ezuke. That is painful, brother, but you won't understand. So you have grown so big as to throw careless words at me, the Alushi Ezuke. 
that look at me. I will veto every suggestion you place on my table because of this careless effort. Don't try it. Don't dare me and don't try it at all. Don't try it. I know you. Tell him Omega from Mendo. And you? Atata from Mendo. Okay, give me some minutes. Alright. Atata. By the time we finish with His Majesty, the entire world will know that we are the great backers. <laughs> <laughs> you can say that again. <laughs> Excuse us, one of your guards. We have something in the car. Oh, my guards are at your disposal. Okay. Guards, you. go with them. Yes, Your Majesty. Thank you, Your Majesty. Yes. Thank you, Your Majesty. Bye. Come, come, come. come. Mm -hmm. Um, Your Royal Majesty, um, on behalf of my good people of Mendu, we bring this little token just to say that we appreciate and acknowledge all your good works in this kingdom. Thank you. We appreciate you. Thank you very much. You shall live long, my king. Uh, my king, we're also here on behalf of some of us that will be giving chief ten seat ten to by you during your father festival. Okay. My king, they all send their greetings and loyalty. Please. I thank you and extend my greetings to them. 
Thank you very much. Um, Your Highness, we heard that some forces led by Chief Otari we are against the issue of you giving us chief tenancy title. And we also had that Otari threatened you. Otari. Otari. Anyway, my king, we want to assure you that 99.9% .9 of use of this kingdom is behind us. So, there's no cause for alarm. Thank you. Thank you. We are solidly behind you. Thank you. Thank you. Great king of our land, His Royal Majesty, I want to assure you that we are solidly behind you and nobody, be it Otari or who, can touch you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I've always said that I am very, very proud of our youth. As long as we are with you, you are secured. And, and I've told them all over the kingdom that the young ones are the hope of this kingdom. <laughs> and look at it, you just come to prove that. Yeah, live long, my king. <laughs> Please send my greetings to my people in Mendu. I am expecting to see your faces in my own father. Ah, it's going to be wonderful. <laughs> your Highness, just leave everything for us. That day, the people of Ezuke Kingdom, we know that there are people like you. <laughs> 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 yes. um, and why don't you sit down, let them bring you wine drinks to we are good. Uh -huh. you know, we, we are just coming in and we say, let us come and see. And see you first. first. Hmm? We still have to meet up with other of our comrades, okay. put things together so that we can. All right. Then you see. get back to me. <laughs> Your Highness. But the Golu Mama is well. My Highness is that you are here. Hi. Yes, you make it. What have we done? Obu kini kai mire Jipi e jipa adikin La ba la ba adikin Chuku zoba nyo Chukuna hukwagi, umebu wangwenye. 